now it's like this. Now it's like, um, you know, I, I've been noticing a lot of guys that I hang out with. Most of the guys are in their 30s, some in their early 40s, man. All my single guy friends, they don't go out anymore to meet girls. They be online dating, you know. And I was thinking, damn, at my age, if I was single right now, I'd probably be an online dater, you know. I'd be on like blackpeoplemeet.com, you know. <laughs> my name would be Surprise. <laughs> you click on my page, what's up? You said you were 6'3 and light skin and the lightest motherfucker on this website. Shit. Stop being so picky. We both lonely. Try something different. Give me the email. Shit, stop bullshitting. That's how I've been thinking too about our kids, man, you know, because, you know, my son's in ninth and my daughter's in eighth, you know. And I'd be wondering, like, if I'm not around and somebody just sees my kids out in public walking around and asks what they are, I wonder what my kids tell people. Do my kids say they're mixed or do my kids say they're black, you know? That's a weird thing about mixed kids, man. They never say white. I don't know what the fuck's up with that shit, you know? <laughs> now, I think my son will say mix because we're close. We're tight. He's going to represent his dad. <laughs> <laughs> nah, how do they determine who's the man is simple? Whoever played basketball. My biggest pet peeve in the world. Oh, you're half black and half white? No, half mom, half dad. 50-50, yes. Yeah. Half my mom and half my dad. 50-50, 50-50. <laughs> my daughter, though? Nah. Nah, that's a black woman right there. My daughter ain't trying to be white at all. You gotta pry out of my daughter. Her dad's white. She just ain't volunteering that kind of information, you know? So I remember a couple years ago, they had like a daddy-daughter day at my daughter's school. So I go to her school, I walk in the classroom, right? The teacher goes, okay, whose dad is this? My daughter never stood up. She just looking at me, I'm looking at her. I was like, uh, motherfucker, hello? Oh, shit, I forgot, that's my dad. What the fuck you telling people? That's like my mom, my mom came to visit um, Christmas, right? My mom ain't seen my daughter in six months. As soon as my mom walks in the house, my daughter came walking out of her room. My mom was like, oh my gosh, look at you. You're getting so tall, you're thinning out, you're losing your butt. My daughter was like, what? She ran upstairs crying, I better not be losing my butt. I go, fuck mom, you just put her down, shit. Mom, in the black community, booty is beauty, okay? So you gotta go upstairs and apologize, please. <laughs> My mom was like, what do I say? I was like, onion. She was like, onion. You come on back down. She'll get it. You know. I'll tell you, though. I'll tell you when I knew, without a doubt, without a doubt, my daughter definitely considers herself a black woman was four years ago. She was nine years old. And this is when it hit me, right? I picked her up from school, and I had to take her home. And I had to take one of her classmates home also. So I got two nine-year-old girls in the back seat of my car, and I'm just driving home. And this is the conversation I hear on the way home. Little girl looks at my daughter and goes, hey, hey, do you believe in God? And my daughter's like, yeah, why? She goes, I saw this man on TV, and he said there's no such thing as God. My daughter went, I know there's a God, because when we were slaves, God was all we had. <laughs> I turned around, my daughter was like, did I say something wrong, Dad? Did I say something incorrect? I was like, I'm out of this conversation, shit. Just cuss this shit with your mother's side of the family, shit. What made it worse is the other little girl, little white girl, she apologized. She looked at my daughter, you know, oh, I'm really sorry about that. My daughter was like, it's okay, you didn't know any better. I forgive you, I do. I mean, you can't forgive a nine-year-old for slavery.